Do you need to hear a channeled message from a deceased loved one? Today we're contacting men or people who are identifying as male who have passed. So that means fathers, grandfathers, husbands, brothers, partners, uncles, or even best friends. So I'm Rosetta, pick a card, one, two, three or four, and I'll do a detailed tarot reading for you with your guidance from spirit who has passed. All right, card number one, card number two, card number three, card number four, welcome group one. So as I'm shuffling the cards for you, just know that this is a group tarot reading. I would like you to focus your mind on the person you would most like to hear from. And remember, we're, we're reading from um, male or male identifying friends, relatives, partners who have passed. So I have my previous channeled reading my previous channeled reading was all about connecting with departed loved ones who were women who were female identifying in your life so if you were looking to hear from someone that is not a male deceased loved one go check out that reading from i believe it was from the beginning of february <laughs> all right so we can't guarantee who's going to come through for you so there's a couple of alternatives you have if um, as i lay out the cards if it does not sound like the person that you wanted to hear from first of all does it sound like another loved one because we don't control who comes through on these readings and the other alternative is if it doesn't sound like anyone you know at all then please check out the reading for group two group three or group four within this reading and see if your person comes through on a different card choice than the one you chose as always because again it's a this is a group collective reading not a personal reading for you alone please take what resonates with you and leave the rest okay let's see what we've got for you group one who's coming through who is coming through And right away, oh, so, so right away I'm seeing this is a person who is now at rest. It's likely also that this person has passed over quite a while ago. So this is not someone who passed um, just recently within the last few months. Um, and uh, I need a little bit more on the Empress card. And what is the Empress card signifying here in this reading? Okay, so as always, since this is a group reading, I'm going to try to read these cards for you in a bunch of different ways so that you can see if this applies. So the first way that I want to read this, the most obvious way, is if you are wanting to hear from a former partner. This person wants you to know, or so not, not only a former partner, if you are wanting to hear from uh, a happy partner, a happy romantic relationship that may have ended suddenly or may have even been a long marriage or also could have been, because we've got the lovers in reverse, could have been an ex, could have been an ex-husband who really was the love of your life. So that is one really obvious way that we can be reading these cards for you. So. Um, that would be the meaning of the empress showing up here but let's talk about this person and in himself so that you can know whether we are actually connecting with the person you wanted to hear from as he said before it's likely that this person passed away a while ago so this is not something that happened just recently just suddenly and recently um, it's, and this, this person is also someone who, four of pentacles in reverse, a, a signature struggle for this person in his life is the absence of money, not being able to make a financial success, whatever he did to try to hold on, the rug was always pulled out from under his feet. So the signature thing that is still with him 
in his personality is this the greatest disappointment was maybe that he couldn't provide for his family or that a business that was really dear to him failed. It was like there was always this struggle. So, and, and he was not, so we've got a lot of swords here, as you will notice. We've got three swords out of six cards that we drew. So, you know, this is really still with him. This is really still with him. So before we get on to the messages that he may have for you, just in himself, who he is, it, um, does this sound like the person you wanted to hear from, or does it sound like another loved one that has passed that also may have a message for you? Eight of Swords in reverse. You know, he's still he's still living with the struggle. He cannot let it go. But he feels that even though he's now released from this world, this is still on his mind. He's, he's saying, and like this is when the messages started, start to come to me now. He's saying he's so sorry that he couldn't be more of a positive in your life. There were so many things he wanted to do for you. The things that he was trying to achieve were not only for himself. There was so much he wanted to do. He wanted to be the leader, the helper, the person in his family that could make everything all right. We're also seeing this Ten of Swords. So you can see he's surrounded by these feelings. So the most obvious explanation of this card is there may also have been somebody really near and dear to him who stabbed him in the back, or he felt that someone who had made promises to him one way or another. So if this is the situation, or maybe if you are coming to this reading because you felt that there's a dear person in your life that you didn't behave correctly toward, that maybe that you betrayed someone, then this is your reading. So we're going to go along because there is this strong empress element. So I'm going to say, I've been waiting to hear other messages from this person, but really this reading is for you. If you were the romantic partner in this person's life, or perhaps even the mother in this person's life. And I'm seeing this, this is not as a, a child who passed. This is a grown person who lived a fairly long life and really worked and tried hard. And it was either his own mental or emotional problems that got in the way, or just sometimes as it happens, just really bad luck and not knowing how to make the things happen that he wanted to make happen. So sometimes a person just doesn't get the right help or the right advice. Okay, so it could be any one of those situations. So let's take these things step by step. If you were the romantic partner of this person, we're going to ask for the message. And then we're going to also go and say, if you were the mother of this person, what is the message? And then we're going to go one more way um, and just say, you know, this could also represent you're the sister, you're the friend. Okay, so let's take these messages a couple of different ways and see what we can get for you. All right, so we're going to take, if you are the romantic partner of this person, if the personality profile that we just talked about resonates, this is the person you wanted to hear from. And you can see by the Knight of Wands, so let me just throw in a little bit about the card you chose. So the Knight of Wands is... He is, he, he's wanting to go forth and make things happen. He wants to build something. He wants to share, he, you know? So wands also a sign of springtime, so, you know? So it's all of those hopes that we have that in this person's case, were not able to be fulfilled. And he's still, you know, he's still hurting from this, okay. So if you were the romantic partner of this person, what's the message here for you?
All right. This is kind of a, you know, this is kind of a strange message. So I'll be interested to hear in the comments whether this resonated with anybody. So first we have the magician card. And I just want to ask an additional question here. Okay. Yeah. He's not referring to himself here. So he's, he is saying that you have much more power than you think you have in this situation. He wants you not to grieve too hard about what happened here because none of what happened in his life was ever, ever, ever your fault. And that you are really within your relationship with him, you may not have known it, but you really were, you were the person who could make everything happen. And he feels a little sad because you may have dimmed your own light in order to make him feel more confident, for him to feel better. And he just wants you to know going forward in life, he wants you to find love again. He doesn't want you ever to get into a situation where you believe in someone else more than you believe in yourself. So we've got the Knight of Swords in reverse here. So remember, swords are the big theme of this entire reading. We have it in reverse. So you know, he, he's saying, don't do this again. Don't do this again. You can be very happy, but don't do this again. And then we, we see two of pentacles. A lot of times that is signifying um, juggling two choices, what choice will you make, what choice is better. Um, so he sees you at this point feeling like a little bit of confusion and maybe some of this is related to your memories about him. Um, this is not the time he's saying. You don't have to make any choices right now. So once again, in your personal life, um, viewers, I can't say in a group reading what kind of choice this really is. We've got pentacles, so it may be a financial choice. Maybe it's what you're going to do for a living. But we can see that we had the four of pentacles in reverse in his story. And now we've got to see the two of pentacles in reverse. And so I'm wondering, did he leave you? For some of you, this may be a person who left you in a very bad financial situation. And he's saying, don't make a rush to make whatever financial decisions that you need to make. He just doesn't want you to hurry on this. All right. And then um, let's see if we have anything else, if that is your situation. So if you were the romantic partner of this person, anything else that you want to say to her, please? You know, once again, seven of cups. You know, it's all about choices. He's feeling... Um, and maybe this is a little bit that he is transferring his own feelings to you, but he's saying that you know the same way that he is not able to let go, that he's still living in the past, he's still suffering over some of the things that happened in his life. He is going to be happier when he sees that you also are able to let go of the things that happened and that you don't feel in any hurry Okay, so Seven of Cups, it's many different choices that can be made. And it's usually depicted. You see the back of the person who's making the choices, and he's looking at all of these choices. And so this is just, once again, we had for him, we had the Four of Swords, and a lot of times that's a card of rest, that a long period of rest has to happen. So he is just saying to you that you're in a period where you need to recollect yourself. You have to decide, and you have to actually become the empress yourself. So you now have to decide. A lot of decisions you were making during this relationship were all based on mollifying him or trying to manage his emotions, trying to lift him up, trying to prop him up. And when that happens, a lot of the times you didn't have time to think about, well, if I were just on my own, what would I do? What would I want? So he wants you to take some time out and think about what you want before making any important choices. So he's also saying, 
that in case you were wondering, in case you were worried, that you should have been a better partner to him, and that there was anything that you did that contributed to his situation, it is not the case. It is not the case. And I'm feeling that same message, whether or not you were still in relationship at the time he passed, that's the same, whether or not you broke up or whether or not you were still together at the time of his passing, that he, I'm getting the same message overall. I'm hearing, you were wonderful. You were great. You were everything that he ever could have wanted. And there is nothing that you did that led to the kind of life and the kind of outcome that he experienced. Okay, so I want to do one more thing though, guys, is like what if you were not a romantic partner? What if you were a friend? What if you were a sister? What if you were the mom? So what if you were in a family and not romantic relationship? And what's the message there? Because there can always be in these group readings a number of different people who come through in the, with the same card choice. Okay, so let's see that. So friend or family member, what, what do you have to say here, spirit? Boy, swords, swords, swords. You know, what I also see coming through in this reading is this particular person is still so living in the unhappy past that he had, that that is coming through more than any messages for you. So I would definitely say, if you're a person who prays, if you're a person who has a spiritual practice, one thing you can really do is pray for the release of this person from what he's going through. All right, so just please pray for peace for this person. Okay, so yeah, death card front and center. He's just so obsessed with himself at this point. So now we got two cards of love in reverse. Now we've got the two of cups in reverse. So if you were not the romantic partner, but a friend or a family member, here we're seeing that he wants to apologize for the pain that he brought into your life. He is worried that all that he contributed was pain. He is worried that he brought nothing good into anyone's life. He's also, once again, you know, he's saying that he, he feels like he destroyed his love relationships too. So he's kind of obsessed or hanging into those messages for his romantic partner in life. Okay, death card. But also death card is a card of transformation. So, you know, I just want to talk to him and say, okay, you, you are telling us about yourself, but do you have any message for people who are grieving your loss? Okay, so any message here? Um, yeah, so he's, he, I think this is a good way to end this particular reading for, for group one. So, Death card, he is in a new place now. He is released from all of the pain that he endured in his life, but he's still not feeling released. So, you know, we said, if you are a person who has a spiritual belief, please pray that his soul can be released because he sees, um, you know, sadly, he's feeling like everyone is better now that I'm gone. Everybody is better. Everybody's life can be happier now that I'm no longer here. But secondarily, um, what this spirit is not realizing yet is that also he can be released and forgive himself and be happy. All right, so please do send some prayers to this person and please also let this person know that you do forgive him if you do. And, you know, let's have a, have a chat with this person and let him know all of the things you loved about him, all of the positive things about him. And that is going to help him greatly. So really this reading was not about um, this spirit giving advice to you, but this was the rare channeled message reading where we see that you can help him so much. 
but he is here for you. He's just so down on himself. So I think once he gets to a point where he realizes your love, your acceptance, of him that helps to release him too and uh, then he's going to be there as a help for you as soon as he can release himself from the bondage of the self-recrimination and the feeling like that he was a bad thing for other people's lives when really you may be able to feel the opposite. You may be able to tell him that, yeah, things were hard, but still here are all the wonderful things that I loved about you. All right, if this reading spoke to you, please give it a like, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I am sending you love and blessings and hoping to see you in my next video. All right, welcome group two. As we're, I'm shuffling the cards, as I always say, this is a group tarot reading, so this is not going to necessarily be particular to your case, just for that reason that I'm not doing a one-on-one -on -one reading for you that I would, of course, I would love to do if you're interested in that. So please focus your mind on the person you want to hear from. As I lay out the cards, if the situation of the person that's coming through does not resonate with you, first of all, think, is there another departed loved one who does sound like this person? Because sometimes a different person than the person you ask about is the person who comes through. And if all else fails, please go check out the reading for group one, group three, or group four, because sometimes they come through on a different card than the one you chose. So you chose the Knight of Swords. Let's lay out some cards before we talked about the significance of the Knight of Swords, but uh, let's just go get some cards on the table. Wow, there are some, some sad loved ones that are coming out today so far. This is really different than uh, a lot of my channeled readings. All right, let's coming, what's coming through here? So at the basis of this situation for this person, we're seeing that he's, he's now being released from heartbreak, but we see that there was, and, and this is, if this is resonating with you, you guys might also want to check out the reading for group one because we've got there's some similarities here. But this person, group one was more like a, a person who everything had gone wrong for. And he felt like he was such a liability on his loved ones. And this one's different though. This is, there have been people in his life, queen of swords in reverse, the emperor, three of swords in reverse, that, let me just get a little bit more on this emperor card here. He feels he caused a lot of heartbreak. So we're just going to talk in this one group too. We're talking about romantic relationships. This is what's coming through. We're not talking about work. This is not really applying to other people other than his romantic partner or partners in life. So um, if you're looking to hear from a dad or a brother or something else, please check out group one, group three, or group four. In his romantic relationships, he was constantly undermining the confidence of the partners in his life. So if you were someone who was a partner, he realizes now that his need to be in control, the way he achieved that was by making other people feel smaller. And not just any other people, we're looking at romantic partners in his life. Possibly also, okay, possibly also, no, 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 no. I, I'm trying to see if there's other possibilities. No, no, this is, this is the romantic partner in his life. He's saying, here's who you are now, queen of pentacles. This is who you always were. Okay, very capable, also very loving as well. Also very sure of, of who you are very grounded, okay, pentacles are at earth. So this is who you were, and this is who he turned you into, queen of swords in reverse. It's, it's possible that in your relationship, he made you 
um, lash out. He made you look like um, he made you look like the crazy one, so to speak. And this is kind of a classic gaslighting situation. And so now that he's on the other side, he really, it, for the first time, it's like he didn't really know what he was doing or realize what he was doing. He just thought that this is the way men are supposed to be, maybe. Maybe he was raised to be that way. You know, maybe he was taught that, well, you've got to keep a tight rein on your woman. You, you know, you've got to be the boss. And he's regretting that very much at this point because he also realizes, high priestess in reverse, he took away your power and he's realizing now how much he could have had if he had allowed you to be who you really are. That, that would have brought so many blessings into his life if he had been able to do that. So now we can go to the Knight of Swords, which represents a hasty, sometimes violent person who just causes mayhem and destruction every place he goes, okay, just through his personality. This is a sharp-tongued person. This is a person who maybe outside of your relationship, nobody knew. This is one of those people who is, oh, he's such a great guy. He's the best. And nobody ever had any idea of what was going on at home, okay, that kind of situation. So what does he have to say to you if you are resonating with this? Yeah, he, he says he knows now that he wasn't all that. He knows that he caused destruction everywhere he went. He's so sorry about this. And he wants to make it up to you now. Okay, so here's what he's saying. He just wants you to know that he knows. And in case, he's, what he's worried about is that he dragged you down so far that you don't realize how wonderful you are. He's afraid that you don't even know your own beauty and strength. And he's saying there's still time. You know, the tower card, he realizes what he did. What he did led to your heartbreak and his own heartbreak because now he is heartbroken from the other side. Hangman, he now wants to make this up to you. So he wants you to be able to call on him in any capacity. And he wants to give you his strength. He wants to give you his love. He feels that even from the other side, he can make this up to you. And he wants to make it up to you in whatever way he possibly can. And I feel we're complete with that, OK? So I would love to hear if this resonates with someone, because this was a very particular reading for only one kind of person. So this was the reading of difficult partners, narcissists coming back to speak to their loved ones, to speak to their partners and try to make it up to them. All right, if this reading spoke to you, please give it a like, subscribe, Click the notification bell. I'm sending you love and blessings, and I'm hoping to see you in my next video. Welcome, group three. All right, as I shuffle the cards, please think about the person you'd like to hear from. As this is a group reading, we can't guarantee who's going to come through. We can't guarantee that the person you want most to hear from will come through. But so there's two ways to handle this. As I lay out the cards, if it doesn't sound like the person that you wanted to hear from, but it does sound like someone else in your life who has passed, then hang in there because there may be a message for you from someone else who really though does want to connect with you. And if nothing applies, then please check out the reading for group one, group two, or group four. Because sometimes the card you pick is not the card containing the reading for you. And why is that? It's just because this is a group reading and it's not a one-on-one -on -one reading, particularly for just one person, just for you. All right, let's see what we've got for you, group three. Who's coming forward? Oh, 
oh my God, this is the second group that had the three of swords in reverse under it. The death card's been coming up a lot. Hangman coming up a lot in, in all of the readings so far today. All right, so who's coming through here? So I'm seeing this. You chose the Knight of Pentacles for this reading, and we also have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So this is someone who could have been an artist, could have been a craftsperson. Could he have been a business person? Sure, he could have been, okay? But the presence of, of the Three of Pentacles has, has this artistic, craftsman-like, someone who creates something from nothing. So this is not somebody who just, who does mental work. This is, this is someone who creates something. And this is someone, so this is a different sort of heartbreak than what we saw uh, if you go back over, the, if, or if you take a look at the group two reading, we have the three of swords in reverse underneath that, uh, that reading as well, but this one's different. There's a heartbreak that comes from sacrifice, comes from trying to create something and bring it into being that never actually was fulfilled. So this very well could be a younger person who didn't get to live out his full life. And you know, behind, he's, he's really, he's questioning to himself, did I do the right thing with my life? Should I have gone another path? So this can be a situation where if you are a mom or a sister or a relative or a father of this person and you kept telling them, don't go down that path, don't do that. Why don't you do something more practical? Why don't you do something that's easier? Um, he's kind of, he's saying, um, you know what? I, I, maybe I should have listened. Maybe I should have listened. Okay, um, so death card in reverse, he's definitely feeling a release from the difficulties that he had in life. So that's the situation, that's the person we're talking about. So let's see what this person may have to say for you. All right, what's the message? What's the message? Yeah, he wants to explain. Okay, so he wants to explain to you, and, and you may even have been the partner. Uh, you know, the message that's coming through here is equally whether you were the romantic partner of this person, whether you were a family member of this person. Um, the message is the same. He's just trying to tell you that, yeah, he does have some thoughts, like, should I have lived this way? Should I have chosen a different path? Should I have done something more practical? This could even be a thing where, for some of you, he had an opportunity to go into the family business, and he said, no, no, no. Or he went into a family business and made a lot of changes that were kind of disastrous. He's just, he's, he's not the person who fits in with his loved ones. And so he's just trying to explain that he is different, that the things that made sense to you could never have made sense to him. It's like he came from a different planet almost. And he wants to say, even with all of the heartbreak, and then he wishes that he could have had more acceptance by his loved ones. But he still had to do what he had to do. So these are two kings in reverse. King of Cups, the king of, of love. King of Pentacles, the, 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 the king that, that makes things. A lot of times with his hands, you know, but that creates things. No matter what kind of creation it was, there was no way, even though it did not work out, there was no way that he could have, in that particular incarnation of his life, do anything different. And the world to him was really the, the effort and the trying to make this thing this obsession of his work. 
And in his life, that was more important than anything. And he just could not give it up. So he wants to explain, it's not that he didn't love you. He loves you a lot. He did have heartbreak in knowing that he couldn't make his loved ones happy, that he couldn't get the approval of his loved ones in what he's doing. And he does not blame you. He says he knows it's crazy, right? But he couldn't do anything differently. And he just wants you to understand. And he says that, yeah, in my mind, he says, in my mind, I wonder if I should have listened to you. But really in his heart, he knows that he couldn't possibly have done it any other way because he would have been worrying for the rest of his life, what if I only had tried? What if I only had tried? And at least he had the opportunity to try. Okay, any other messages for the loved ones here though? Well, this one wants to come out too. All right. He, he, has, he has a message of love, but he's almost afraid to say it. You know, he's like, he feels like, like who wants to hear from me? I mean, he, he's, he's saying, I couldn't get their love and approval when I was on earth. So he's kind of laughing like, oh, this is silly to try. He, he says he also sees, he also sees that you thought he didn't approve of you or value you. So the same disapproval that he felt, he now knows that you felt that maybe you felt that he, would, he thought he was better, like that he felt he had a, the right to do this crazy thing. And uh, while, he, you know, he says he knows that you wish you had the luxury to do what he did with his life. And that there was a certain amount of jealousy involved that he didn't realize at the time, but he says he knows that, um, that you thought he was kind of spoiled to do what he did. And he just wants you to know that you still have a chance. You don't have to believe about yourself that, um, that you can't pursue your crazy dreams too. He wants you to turn this card right side up and say, yeah, okay, now you can go for it. And if you decide that you're gonna go for it, if you decide that there's something crazy that you wanna pursue, that if you make that decision, then he can help you from where he is. But so long as you persist in feeling that you know, I don't want to be crazy like my brother, or I don't want to be crazy like my husband, or I don't want to be, look, look at the mess he made. I'm not going to try it. He says, you know, jump in, the water is fine. And whereas he felt he didn't have any help, or he didn't have the help that he needed to figure out how to do his thing, how to do his dream in a successful way, he says, now you've got me. So he wants to see you step out and, uh, you know, he's, he's saying, we're the same blood. You can do it too, but that he's going to help you. He, he learned a lot from the failures that he had or the lack of financial success that he had because it's not necessarily a failure. You know, he says, I created some amazing things. You know, it's just that the money didn't work out. So he's, he's, he's there for you. He wants to see you step out and do something a little bit crazy with your life while you're still on earth and have the chance to do so. Okay, now I'm feeling complete with that reading. If this reading spoke to you, please give it a like, subscribe, click the notification bell so you see some of my other readings as they come out. Periodically, I do these channeled message readings every couple months or so, and you'll see there's a playlist with a bunch more of them if you check out my channel homepage. So I'm sending you love and blessings, and I hope to see you in my next video. Welcome group four. As I'm shuffling the cards, please focus on the person you wanna hear from. And because this is a group reading, just know that it's not, 
a given that your person will come through, but sometimes another person, which is not the person you expected, may come through. And as I describe the personality of the person, as I lay out the cards, if it doesn't sound like anyone that has passed in your life, then please check out the readings for group one, group two, or group three. All right. More, more, more. What? Boy, how many? We've got two queens, high priestess, which is kind of a queen in a certain way in my mind. He's, he's talking about people in his life. And this is a person with many, and I'm going to say women, but like many partners in his life. And also, a great amount of material success as well, who was still dissatisfied with it all, OK? So does this sound like your person at all? So we're looking at a successful person, but Knight of Cups was the card you chose. Um, sometimes this can be a little bit of um, a player. So if that sounds like your person, stick with me. So what's the message? He's laid out the situation. How are you feeling now is what I want to ask him. How are you feeling now? All right. So how is he feeling now? He, he, he highly is criticizing himself for the pain that he caused to others because he realizes he didn't, um, he didn't only hurt himself. So we've got the stabbed in the back card here. We also see that he just thought he was going along his merry path and he didn't see there was anything really wrong with what he was doing so long as no one found out. He feels that now, so either before his passing or after his passing, you found out, you now know the truth. But high priestess in reverse, he feels like he was able to hide the truth for you for a long time, and he felt like, well, what she doesn't know isn't going to hurt her. And you know, we, we just, he, he just sees knight of swords in reverse. He sees the pain that he caused, and he's feeling like it wasn't worth it, ultimately. Yeah, he, he's feeling like he, he, he's also saying, yeah, but I was who I was, though. And, you know, to be honest, I don't know how I could have done it differently because I just was, he's saying bozo. I was this bozo that I was. <laughs> All right, Eight of Pentacles, though. What's up with that? What, what's the meaning of the Eight of Pentacles? And then we're going to get on with, then we're going to get on with what, what his message is to you. Yeah, he just kept, um, the way he's saying it, I just kept sowing my seed. I just kept sowing my seed. You know? and so, so I'm also, it's likely that he had children with multiple people as well, and he just couldn't make a choice. So two of swords in reverse, he couldn't make one choice and stick to it. Ace of swords now. So you who are here for this reading, we're not talking about all the other ladies or all the other partners. But you who are here for this reading now, he wants to know that you are the one he would have chosen if he could. You were the love of his life. You were the most important person to him. And so he feels like you need to know that. He feels like you need to know that. What else? What else do you want to say? What else do you want to say, Spirit? Oh, he's saying, can we start over? Like he knows, okay, he knows that you are on earth and he is not, but he's just saying, can we start over? And he'd like to be together with you again on the other side. Okay, so he's just, oh, I, I, want, to, I want another chance. I want to start over. That's his main message. Justice card. So you see the presence of swords here. So um, we had the Ten of Swords down here. We have the Ace. So now, Ten of Swords, the ending. Ace of Swords, the beginning. He wants to start over. Justice card. 
he says he is here for you and he believes that your life if you let it your life going forward from now is going to be your reward for for having put up with him so he said just know that i'm sorry he says just know that i'm sorry i would start all over again if i could you were the one you were the you were the only one who mattered and here here you are now so not only justice but you have the crown on your head everything is going to balance out everything is going to work out let yourself be happy and he's actually going to be with you if it's okay with you he's going to be with you to ensure that this happens to ensure that you get the happy life that you deserve to ensure that you don't choose anyone in the future who will ever treat you this way again that's his big mission here so now a new he's coming toward you with the the chalice of love he's coming toward you saying let me do this for you let me make it up to you all right i'm feeling like that's complete now he's well no 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 he's got more okay uh, he is afraid that you won't let love in again because of what happened with him and he wants you to <laughs> He says, you know, but, but, he, he, but he still wants to be with you. He still wants to be with you. You know, he still wants to be with you again. But he wants you to have love and companionship now too, and he doesn't want you to turn that down. So you're going to find the right thing, and he wants to help you to find the right thing. All right, if this reading spoke to you, all four readings today were really so specific in nature that I know they're not going to speak to everyone who views them. But what I want to say is please do check out my whole playlist of channeled readings. And if this one did speak to you, please give it a like. Please subscribe and click the notification bell. And I'm sending you, as always, blessings and love. And I hope to see you in my next video.